And welcome to Hannity and tonight two massive beams of light they are shining into the sky above New York City a solemn reminder of the deadliest terror attack on American soil where 2,977 innocent men women children were murdered on September the 11th 2001 including hundreds of heroic first responders who are running up the stairs of the World Trade Center as the Twin Towers were about to collapse. Why? Because they wanted to save lives. They are the very personification, the definition of heroic in every way and courageous. We'll never forget. We won't forget the brave New York City firefighters, the police officers, the para uh, paramedics, uh, and others. We won't forget the heroes on Flight 93. Let's roll. We won't forget those who are still dying to this day from breathing toxic air during the rescue and recovery efforts. Unfortunately, Joe Biden is not in New York City tonight or at the Pentagon uh, in Arlington, Virginia, or in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. He is the first U.S. president in 22 years not to visit an attack site on the anniversary of 9-11. He commemorated the attacks in Vietnam, of all places, before making a quick stop in Alaska to visit U.S. soldiers on his way back to the U.S. During a short speech on the tarmac, Biden opened with one of his usual stupid jokes and later suggested that so-called political extremism in America is a big, bigger threat than al-Qaeda. And then uh, to top it off, per usual, Biden turned the conversation back to himself, his favorite topic, with yet another lie about visiting Ground Zero in New York City the day after 9-11. Here's a spoiler alert. Joe Biden was nowhere near New York City the day after 9-11. Take a look. Ground Zero in New York. And I remember standing there the next day and looking at the building. I felt like I was looking through the gates of hell. It looked so devastating because of the way you could, the way from where you could stand. Joe Biden was lying again 22 years later, and Joe Biden doesn't seem to remember what really happened on that horrific day. No one in this administration seems to understand the gravity of the 9-11 terror attacks. Remember the 9-11 Commission report. They were at war with us. We were not at war with them. What about the 7 to 8 million illegal immigrants that Joe is not vetted coming into this country? Uh, by the way, we caught many people on the terrorist watch list. How many on that list got through as gotaways? We have no clue, no idea. You know, who thought it was a good idea to plan a trip to Vietnam on 9-11 anyway? And who thought this tweet was a good idea? Biden's National Security uh, Council spokesperson on 9-11 praising Saudi Arabia for their commitment to infrastructure. Quote, we welcome this weekend's announcement by Saudi Arabia committing $20 billion to support President Biden's signature initiative, the Partnership for Global Infrastructure. Now, keep in mind, this is the same Biden administration that tried to cut a, a plea deal with the Saudi-linked terrorists who planned 9-11 in order to spare their lives, the Al-Qaeda Five, as we call them, including the mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and the same administration that just freed up $6 billion for the number one state sponsor of terror in the world, Iran, uh, evading all U.S. sanctions by passing the money through South Korea, and then Qatar in exchange Iran has agreed to release six American hostages. Sounds like Joe paid a ransom to me. This has got to be the biggest ransom payment, as a matter of fact, in the history of the world. Six billion dollars to the number one state sponsor of terrorism on the anniversary of 9-11. Boy, that's just brilliant. And I don't know who's making these psychotic decisions at Joe's White House, but the president, Joe, doesn't seem to have a firm grip on anything. Just look at this press conference. It was an utter, complete disaster in Vietnam. Take a look. You know, there's that one of my staff members said, remember the famous song, you know, good morning, Vietnam. Well, good evening, Vietnam. My brother loves having There's famous lines from movies that he always quotes. You know, and one of them is there is, there's a movie about John Wayne. He's an Indian scout. scout. The Indian looks at John Wayne and points to the Union so says, he's a lion dog-faced pony soldier. Well, there's a lot of lion dog-faced pony soldiers out there about, about global warming. I'm just following my orders here. Uh...
staff, if there's anybody who haven't spoken to, uh, but I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, we talked. We talked about we talked about at the conference overall. We talked about stability. We talked about making sure that the third world, the uh, excuse me, third world, the uh, the the, uh, the southern hemisphere had access to change. It had access. We, it wasn't confrontational at all. You came thank, thank you, everybody. This ends the count press thank conference. You. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. No wonder China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea are now aligning. That's the leader of the free world? Weird, bizarre, mumbling, bumbling, stumbling, rambling stories about, here we go again, the lying dog-faced pony soldier, pre-selected questions, the mental fog around simple tasks, and then a staffer at the end literally interrupting him, you know, play the music, cue the music you know, to avoid even more embarrassment after a 26-minute disaster. Joe Biden is not leading anything. He's barely hanging on for dear life. Uh, now, earlier in the trip, more Biden signature lies as well. Look at this. And when will you meet Mr. Xi? Well, I hope I get to see Mr. Xi sooner than later. Um, I've spent more time with him than any other world leader has, some total over the last 12 years. Uh, so I hope we get to see him again soon. Joe Biden frequently claims he traveled 17,000 miles with China's dictator, President Xi, a lie that was rewarded with three Pinocchios, even from the far-left Washington Post. Now, of course, Biden does have deep family ties to China, well-connected Chinese nationals, reportedly supplying the Bidens with millions of dollars, diamonds, at least one lavish shopping spree, uh, you know, tons of money in business with in energy with CEFC, the, the Chinese government's oil uh, oil giant. Uh, then, of course, the $1.5 billion deal Bank of China. Uh, I wonder why. How many millions did the Biden family syndicate? How much did they do in business with China? How much of that money was profit? How much did the grandchildren get? How much did Hunter get? How much did Joe get? Is this really the best the Democratic Party can do in 2024? You have what is a heartless, self-centered, corrupt career politician, one foot in a nursing home. And by the way, since Biden had a big trip this week and don't expect to see much of him in the coming days, he'll be sleeping that off. He needs ample time to recharge the battery, probably needs another three weeks vacation. Just two weeks to handle the rigors of the job. 